everyone. Let's talk about tires for a moment. So I recently put new tires on my truck and uh, my truck is a 2007 Ford Super Duty. Uh, it's got a 6.8 liter Triton V8 in it, six speed manual transmission and it's got 410 gear ratio. Uh, the truck came from the factory with like 32 inch tires on it. Um, I've had 33 inch tires on it for a while and when I bought this last set of tires I went all the way up to a set of 35 inch 1250 tires. Uh, my rim size is 17 inch and um, I put actually a set of Mud Terrain Mastercraft um, 35, 1250, 17s on. And uh, man, what a mistake. The tires themselves are pretty nice. Um, there are some advantages to it. I do get traction now, obviously, where I couldn't before. I run a small farm, and uh, when I had the 33 zone that were all terrains, I would. Uh, a lot of times if it was a freshly plowed field or a little wet, I would end up having to put the truck in four wheel drive to keep from bogging down. And with uh, these 35 inch uh, mud terrains on, I pretty much go anywhere I want to go in two wheel drive. So there is a plus side to it. But the downside to it is that um, I, I bought this truck mainly for towing. And uh, I've got a half ton truck I drive around sometimes too, F-150. And uh, this truck I mainly bought it to pull my camper and my heavy trailers with. And buddy, when I put the 35s on here, it really hurt it. Um, first and foremost, it killed the gas mileage. I lost three miles per gallon no matter where I was at, whether it was on the highway, city, pulling a trailer. You could take what I was getting before I put these tires on, subtract three miles per gallon, and that's what I'm getting now, yeah, which really sucks. Uh, the truck was marginal on fuel mileage before. Now it just really sucks. And uh, I will end up, before these are worn out, I will probably pull them off and put some 33s back on. Now I do love the way the truck looks with the 35s on it. I just don't like the way it pulls the trailer. Also, I think because the sidewall is so much higher, I also am less stable when towing. Um, same load range E tires that I had before, but just bigger tires. And I noticed that uh, when I'm pulling my travel trailer, I get more sway now than I, I did in the past. Uh, now, when I say sway, I don't mean uh, just driving down the road. I don't get any sway like that. But um, if uh, I'm on the interstate in a a tractor trailer passes me I get that front end push that um, I never got before with the uh, 33 inch tires so I suspect it's a couple things happening I suspect number one the mud terrains having more open tread so you can get a little bit of wiggle there and then the other thing is that um, you got a lot more sidewall uh, with the 35s versus the 33s inch and a half from top and bottom so I uh, suspect that's what my problem is. I should have anticipated that and never bought the 35s to begin with. Um, so eventually I get a chance. I'm going to uh, pull the 35s off and put the 33s back on. I do like the way the 35 inch tires look, uh, but like I just said, it's just, uh, I bought this truck for a purpose and um, having the 35 inch tires on it really defeats uh, the main purpose of having the truck. Um, I do like the ground clearance and I love the aggressive uh, tread design, but uh, like I said, if it's gonna take away from my towing capabilities and um, stability when towing, then uh, I, it's just not worth doing. Not for me anyway. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Um, hope I give you some good information on there. Uh, the main uh, goal was to explain how uh, sometimes uh, the tires we want may not be the, the best for the application. You know, uh, when I used to do a lot of deer hunting and stuff, these tires would have been perfect for, but for pulling heavy trailers and uh, stuff around the farm and around town, it's just not ideal.